Okay guys, so welcome to the next part and let's finish the ice. So let's go back to the edit mode. And uh, I want to fill all those gaps. So first let's start from the easiest one. So which is the nos nostrils. So let's check how many vertices we have. So if you select this uh, edge loop by double clicking on it, you should have written at the bottom here. So you have seven verts. So seven vertices so it's not good you should have the even number because thanks to even numbers you can make a quotes from them so uh, we can solve it very easily by adding just another edge loop here I'll add it here and I will now have to make it even so I'll move this part up and let's go for a bit to the wireframe so where is okay because you can't really see it uh, because it's not that visible but I have a vertices selected here and I just want to make it even with this edge as you can see here and let's move this edge up so now if you select uh, you should have eight verts and thanks to that we can make a, a quads from here so there's a nice tool in blender which you can use uh, if you select everything and you click space or search tool or you have a different shortcut I don't know you can select for grid fill so basically it will fill your uh, loop with a grid and you can change the span and offset here so span is basically how you want your uh, your grid to look like you can have it on uh, a lot basically two is the best because you can see that we have a, a vertices inside here and you can change the span which is basically a rotation of it i'll leave it on two and i'll select the middle one and i will snap it uh, towards the center so it will move to the nose so now we have the nose filled so let's now let's go to the mouth basically so let's uh, move this down so it will match the shape of the lip upper lip be more better and we can select this whole loop by double clicking on it and let's click E so it will extrude and let's scale it down so we will scale it down and we will fix few stuff because it's not scaling to the center so we have to adjust it like this And let's see. I think we can uh, extrude it one more time. Uh, so it will go more towards the inside. So let's select it again. Let's let's uh, click E. Let's extrude it down again. And let's uh, adjust everything again. So I will have to adjust everything manually. E I know you can change the cursor to to be in the center and scale it towards the cursor but I prefer it that way I think it's faster because it's only few two extrusions so we will make everything uh, closer to each other so it will be more tight and uh, okay something like this should be fine and now we want to also close it with uh, with our grid so let's let's see how how much we have of our vertices so we have 11 vertices so you have two in the center and you have nine on on uh, on the right so we have a mirror modifier so on the left you should also have a nine so it should be 20 in the total so now we can't actually make a grid fill because there's no loop because we have a mirror modifier so as you can see if I click on this you can see how it look on the other side but uh, you can't add a grid fill when you have a mirror modifier so we have to apply a mirror modifier so let's do it let's apply a mirror modifier uh, let's go back to edit now you can see that uh, if I select the edge of the mouth you can see that we have 20 vertices and now we can add the 
the grid fill. So let's click space, let's search for grid fill and it will uh, make our grid. So I can't see it good, so I will change it to wireframe and you can see how it looks now. Uh, it's not, I want it to be symmetrical, so I'll add the offset till it's symmetrical and you can see this is uh, very good. And the span, I think, uh, six, five is okay, so I want, okay, it, five is not, when I have five, it will not make it symmetrical. So we have to come back to four and now let's find the good offset. So three, three and four is good. You have to just play with it and see how uh, it fits. And now let's go to the solid view. And uh, we want to delete the left side again because we want to add the mirror modifier. So let's select the left side. And thanks to that, it, uh, because it's symmetrical, we can delete the left side and we can add a mirror modifier again. So let's move the mirror modifier to be at the top and let's enable clipping. And now we can select those vertices that were created from our grid fill and just snap them back to the center of the mouth. So let's go to the wireframe because I can't really see it. And this should be okay. So we can even make it okay. Not too, too much, zero, minus 0 0.001 was okay. We will see it later. So now let's go to the eye. The eye is the last part. So again, we have this loop. It's 21 vertices. Hmm. So we have to add some vertices to make it close later. So I think we can add it now. You have to select the display, the place where your grid is the biggest, so your face is the biggest, so you can see here I have, uh, this is not square, this is more rectangular, so I can add a loop cut here, so to make it more squarish, and I can uh, move it around to make everything more identical. So now if I select this, we should have 22 vertices. Uh, we can scale them down, so let's click E and let's scale them down to the I. And I will make this part match the bottom eyelid. So it will match something like this. So you have to do it sometimes manually. And this part, I can move it more down like this. Move them closer to each other. Okay, so now uh, this is quite tricky part because we want to fill this thing, this bottom eyelid top, I would say. So, uh, so I will make one more edge, edge loop, one more extrusion, basically. So I'll, I'll start from the bottom. So I'll select, uh, you can see it ends here. So I'll select from here and I will select till this part and I will extrude it towards the eye, so it will cover it. And now I have to adjust a few things, so it will lay correctly on here. And now we have to just extrude it till it ends here. So I think I can hide the eye, so let's go to the object mode. Let's hide this eye. And let's go to the object mode to the edit mode again. So I will just uh, try to follow this part because I don't have the eye sculpted. That's why it looks like this. So I'll just follow the curve. And I think one more, two more, like here. It's correct. Where is it? Okay, what? Something happened. Okay, it's here. So it's, uh, now we can connect the faces like this. So we have a nice loop here and we have to do the same with the top. So it will continue up like this. So I just follow the vertice, vertices. 
and I will leave it at the end here and I will select this first edge and I will click F span spam F so it will make faces for me it's very nice tool and it feels great to do it and now we can finish off with making the face here so now let's uh, bring back our eye so if I click alt H everything will be back and I have a lot of stuff so I have to hide the stuff that are not necessary again uh, okay sorry guys for this I had a lot of stuff basically and this part and let's see what else this I can hide this I can hide and uh, I have two eyes basically <laughs> so we can hide this hide this hide this and uh, if you have the eyelash like the top eyelash connected with the uh, with your face then you should just wrap uh, the retopology around this uh, top eyelash like the bottom one but i have it separate so that's why i, I don't retopologize it because it's al already retopologized so we can uh, now see how it looks so let's select this uh, let's hide this eyelash top eyelid let's see how it looks it looks okay and it also depends on you if you want the eyes to be on the separate texture or not i will keep it on this separate texture so i can close off the eye uh, as a separate thing so i'll select all this edge and i'll grid fill it again so you can see now it had span of one so it will try to connect everything uh, together if i add more span it will add more loops so it will be better i think number Number six is nice, so you have quite even number of horizontal lines and vertical lines. And let's check if we can get the better offset. And I think the one is good. One was good. Let's see, let's go back to the one. And as you can see, one is quite good. And we want to click G so it will snap to the center. So now it should look something like this. I will go to local. You can see it looks something like this and i think it's very nice so that will be it guys for this episode we finish with the uh with the gaps so we have nice gaps on the uh nose nostrils and also on the mouth as you can see here and on the eyes we also close these gaps uh, because we will have the eye texture on the separate texture on the separate uv map so Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.